In what some believe may now be a pointless exercise, weapons inspectors are today visiting northeast Damascus to try to establish what happened and who did it. Both sides have called a ceasefire, so inspectors won't have this kind of gunfire to contend with while they work. The districts of Jobar and Zamalka are a wasteland from intense fighting, but the homes turned to rubble are bizarrely irrelevant. They'll be looking for something invisible. Sarin gas can evaporate as quickly as it kills, and it's feared that five days of government forces pounding the site may have further diminished the evidence. Every hour counts. We cannot afford any more delays. We have all seen the horrifying images on our television screens and through social media. Uh, clearly, this was a major and terrible uh, incident. We owe it to the families of the victim uh, to act. All those in Syria have a stake in finding out the truth. The whole world should be concerned about any threat or uh, use of chemical weapons. And if inspectors do find anything, the regime has provided an alternative scenario for where it came from. State TV has shown journalists a stash of chemicals in underground rooms in the Damascus suburb of Jobar, which they say belong to the rebels. Reporters also met a handful of government soldiers in hospital beds who claim to be victims of a chemical attack. But that hasn't convinced the French foreign minister. I can tell you that the evidence is clear, and it proved that it was a massacre following the use of chemical weapons, and the Assad regime is responsible. But if this discovery of rebel chemical weapons is a pantomime, Russia is singing along, warning Washington not to do what it did in Iraq over Saddam's apparent weapons of mass destruction. Well, if the inspectors actually going today have the right equipment with them, and if they can prove uh, by identifying certain either carriers or certain elements that only the regime will have, that will be further evidence at least to get some kind of legal way of moving against President Assad. Indeed, evidence may well be found. Angela Kane's inspectors need to get as close as possible to the point of detonation and examine soil samples and human tissue. <laughs> to explain what happened here, the inspectors have a somber and difficult task ahead. The options facing Western leaders are equally grim. Jason Farrell, Sky News.